Hello and welcome to MBK and Models. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more great aircraft documentaries and model build videos. Firstly, a big up to everybody on LinkedIn. It's great to be on there and it's great to meet you all. An update for the 132nd scale Bristol Bowfighter build and analog control box. Control box is done and I'm running it and it's very successful and I'm pleased with it. You can see all the uh, on-off switches and the pop meter and the analog voltmeter there. These little knobs here I bought from Etsy and what they do is they secure the lid onto the actual box. On the top of the box resting there is a fuselage and tailplane of the Vail 132nd scale Bowfighter and what I've done is I took a very bold step and I cut these. I probably made a video of this on YouTube with a tile cutter and these now move whether i'll add some control rods in or not i don't know yet but i've managed to do it and i'm quite pleased with that actually took some doing though not very fast job you've got to take it slowly but it does work and it's good i use some radio control model airplane hinges or plastic i probably got some on the bench they don't cost a lot there's the hinges for me that's the most successful hinges that i've bought the others i didn't really get along with these don't cost a lot and they are good what i've done also is the electric motor has gone in it's a little bit too big but we'll see how it is with the weight for the undercarriage lever mechanism which i made out of ice lolly sticks i mean i say these ice lolly sticks you can buy them in a craft shop a packet of uh, loads of them for not much money and they run very well when you're doing things with them i've got the lever mechanism created there for the undercarriage custom retracts as they call it in america let's have a quick talk about these motors i've had to change these motors a couple of times sadly i made a mistake and you're only as good as your mistakes and i bought two lesson rpm with these small gear 12 volt motors now these are a higher rpm i can't remember what they are offhand but they are a far higher rpm but i really still don't think it's enough to get the power that i need so i've ordered some more motors i'm trying to think of what rpm these are there are the others were only 30 these are something like they're over a thousand you've got to go careful though when you get them in i mean the other with the slower rpm came in with already pre-soldered wires and one snapped and trying to change wires with the soldering iron for these you've got too much heat going to too smaller place with plastic on the end of the motors and it just doesn't work out that well but these came in with you put your own wires on them so after learning about that mistake this is why they're taped down and they've got shrink fit on them and i soldered them myself but i didn't solder i put in like a loop twisted it round, and soldered it some way away from the motor tag because you don't want that heat going to that plastic part on the motor both of these are running and the, the analog control box is now up and running now i'm waiting for parts at the moment so a little bit of a watershed area got some new motors coming and some prop adapters and props coming all of what i've bought off of amazon now the new motors are coreless eight volt coreless dc motors they run at eight volts which means i can vary the voltage on here on this uh, this knob here this varies voltage and it's very good once they arrive i should have the rpm that i need for this size of model it's not going to fly but i need something which is going to be powerful enough this is outstanding this piece of circuitry here that i've talked about before it's it took me a little bit of sort of mind bendy wiring up to how to work it out but just Generally, it's gone well. In the background, you can see my rescue and target towing launch that I built from Ply. That was a long build. I bought the plan well before the internet in the 1980s in about 1985 and you're busy aren't you so i didn't start it until the 90s around about 96 
Max I started it and I finished it off in the 2000s. Very proud of this one. It's a very successful model. I've got a video on channel of it running on water. I don't take it out that often just because I don't. I like to build and you can only go down on nice warm days around the lake. Lots of, uh, of new things done there and I'm ready, like I said, awaiting parts. The control box is done. I'm waiting for a switch which reverses current. I think it's called a TPM switch maybe for the undercarriage, which means I'm going to have to build another housing for the switch, which will go on the top of the box. I've got spare plywood down there and I have to re restain it again, etc. Next to it is some foam sheets. And I'll tell you what, I am so glad I bought that foam because it's used for a multitude of things. It's very good. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And until next time.